Good afternoon and welcome to World Heavyweight Championship Boxing in a fight likely to create history. Our exclusive coverage of Larry Holmes versus Michael Spinks, which took place in the early hours of this morning in Las Vegas. With me to analyze the challenge is Jim Watt, the former World Lightweight Champion, and we'll hear from Jim shortly. So it's Holmes, unquestionably the king of the heavyweights, but the IBF World Champion against Spinks, the undisputed World Light Heavyweight Champion. Now, the significance of this scrap is that it's Holmes' 49th contest and victory would equal the unbeaten record held by the late Rocky Marciano. Indeed, Marciano's last fight took place exactly 30 years ago to this weekend. Nicknamed the Brockton Blockbuster, his was an all-action, relentlessly aggressive style, and it brought him victory in every one of his 49 contests, remarkably 43 of those inside the distance. But strangely, he only had six world title fights. We can take you back over 30 years now and give you a taste of the man's menacing method. It's September 23rd, 1952, and world heavyweight champion Jersey Joe Walcott defends his title against the Brockton blockbuster Rocky Marciano. In round one, champion Walcott in the white trunks comes right out bombing. Joe is a two-to-one underdog tonight, but the 38-year-old champion looks like he's out to end it fast. This is a new experience for Marciano. Usually it's The Rock who's dishing it out. Reading upsets is Walcott's specialty. Jersey Joe would like to finish off Marciano right here in round one. Walcott gets in with a left hook that floors Marciano. In slow motion, we can see how the champion timed that punch to perfection, shooting it right in with 200 pounds of weight behind it. Marciano has caught what? His right hand too low to block Walcott's sizzling left hook. This is the first time Rocky has ever been down, but he has the presence of mind to take an eight count. Marciano knows that tonight he has a real war in his hand. In rounds 10 through 12, Walcott had a decided eight, and he's definitely ahead on points. Now watch Rocky's right hand. That's it! In slow motion as Walcott starts to throw a right hand, the rock beats him to it. The World Heavyweight Championship was riding on that one devastating right to the jaw. Rocky Marciano, the Brockton blockbuster, becomes the 18th World Heavyweight Champion under the marvelous of Queensbury rules as Jersey Joe Walcott is counted out. Here in round nine, Marciano will be looking to finish it. A deadly combination and a paralyzing right drops the challenger. The referee picks up the count over a hurt Don Coppo. The referee wipes his gloves and signals the fight to continue. Marciano throwing dynamite from all angles. And Chaco goes down again. Chaco rises, looks to his corner and gets hit with a murderous right hand bomb. Wisely, the referee starts the fight. The Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano, scores a crushing ninth round knockout over Don Cottle to retain his heavyweight crown. There's no let up in the action in round eight as Marciano sends Board down again with a glancing right. Marciano continues to throw bombs, and two stinging left hooks drop Archie Moore once again. Moore vainly tries to rise, but it's all over. Rocky Marciano successfully defends his world heavyweight crown with a convincing ninth round knockout over courageous light heavyweight champion Archie Moore. And it was after that nine-round victory over Archie Moore that Marciano quit the ring. Sadly, he died prematurely, killed in a plane crash in 1969 at the age of 46. So to 35-year-old Larry Holmes, who perhaps has never been given the credit he deserves for a remarkable ring career. 48 fights, all won, 33 inside the distance, and he successfully defended a world title, whether the WBC or IBF version, 19 times. Only the great Joe Lewis exceeded that. Let us look back at three of Holmes' more memorable fights, starting with the one against Ken Norton that won him the world title. Tremendous stuff. This really is the old gladiator type of fighting, isn't it? Well, this one deserved the carrier title tag. 
judge is going to sort this one out. It's a lot of weight to be carrying around between them there, but it's still at a one. Oh, and what a right-hand punch. Once their holes dropped, he's got he paid for it. Is he going to make the count? His legs are wobbly. He's really got to prove himself here. He really is ready to go. Can Shavers finish him? Shavers has done it before. He knocked out Ken Norton. Can he do it with Larry Holmes? And he really, his legs are unbuckled. He's like an infant in a playpen. But what a game champion at Holmes. He's trying to put himself together. And the crowd really spurring Shavers on. Sensational round, round seven. If he only timed his punches and he's saved by the bell there, Larry Holmes. To him, that bell sounded like an orchestra. From that distressed state, remarkably, Holmes came back, and indeed, in the 11th round, Shavers was in dire trouble. Really is ridiculously one-sided now, and the referee's looking at Holmes, he's looking at the referee. And he's having a look, is it all over? It should be. And he's talking, and only saying it's all right. How does he know he's all right when he's really getting punished like this? And it's all over, and that's it. The obvious end, with Ernie Shavers at least having the gladiator's pride of finishing on his feet. And again, those rib-cracking punches there of Holmes. And if he really finishes this man, well, who knows, he might even be hated for putting the lights out of a legend. Sad affair, that one, really. But um, I suppose, Jim, comparisons are invidious. Do you think that um, Holmes can be uh, rated alongside Ali and uh, Marciano? Yeah, I think he can be, but I don't think he will be. He uh, did everything that was asked of him. I don't think he ever had the charisma that Marciano had. And I think coming along just after the Frazier Ali era, well, they were a hard act to fall, and I don't think Larry managed to do it. But uh, a great fighter, nevertheless, but I don't think he'll be tagged uh, an all-time great. At 35 years of age, what is the motivation for this fight for him, do you think? Three and a half million dollars or the chance to equal Marciano's record? Well, I always think uh, there's two reasons to be in a boxing ring. One, you really want to be there, or two, you need the money. <laughs> and unfortunately with Larry, none of these two reasons applied. I think he only wanted to be in there to equal Marciano's record, then uh, take over, the, overtake the record. But uh, I don't think that's enough when the chips are Just down. Just a very, very quick word, because it surprised everybody when we heard that um, Spinks had actually weighed in at 14.4, a stone and a half heavier than he usually is. Just one brief word. Well, I can only assume that he's maybe he's been struggling to make 12 stone seven, and he's normally about 30 and a half stone, but it's an awful lot of weight to put on. I don't know how he's managed to do it. But it would have given him a better chance, I suppose. Yeah, well, he, he wouldn't be bullied the same. He'd have the weight to push back, I suppose. We shall see. Jim, thank you very much for the moment. So that really does set up Holmes' 20th defence of a world title against Michael Spinks, an outstanding light heavyweight who will be on the wrong end of a one and a half stone weight gap. The action after this. Welcome back to Larry Holmes versus Michael Spinks, with Spinks, a former Olympic middleweight champion, going for his second world title, a heavy to add to his light heavy crown. His pro career spans 27 fights, all victories, and 19 of them inside the distance. So, to the Riviera in Las Vegas, to join our commentator, Reg Guttridge. So, the tale of the tape, as the Americans like to call it. Difference, of course, in uh, age there. Not a, not a lot of difference in height, which is unusual for a light heavyweight to be as to, almost as tall then. But there, the, the controversy there is the weight of Michael Spinks. 14 stone, 4 pounds. So, uh, Holmes there, the champ, just touching the good luck handshake with the seconds. Now, can this fellow, Michael Spinks, become the first light heavyweight to win a heavyweight championship? Great talk, of course, at the way. How did Spinks uh, manage to blow up, as it were, to 14 stone and 4 pounds? He said he'd been working under a sports nutritionist, and that he's not carrying any extra weight. He's really built himself up. I must say, looking at him here at ringside, he's got about as much fat on his body as a hummingbird, but it just is incredible. This way, the way he's coming at this way. I don't know all that dead weight on his. 
but the odds, of course, are heavy on the heavier. Both risking an unbeaten record. uses that punishing left jab now to break up the concentration of the opponent before he unloads that big sweeping right hand punch. Some critics say he couldn't be past his best. Well, for me, he's been a great champion, certainly one of the most durable in the business. He can get off the floor and win fights, and that takes a lot of doing. Great pride fighter, Larry Holmes. And for that matter, obviously, so is Leon Spinks. He's won an Olympic championship at middleweight and uh, recognized by three ruling bodies now as the light heavyweight champion of the world. You can't beat that. Trying to get a bit of revenge, I suppose. Family revenge because Holmes really punished his brother Leon in Detroit in three rounds. a change for a fight not to be heated up with too many silly words from the fighter they have genuine respect for each other these two certainly at the start there Mike Spinks standing his ground So we've got a packed arena then with 11,192 paying everything in the dollar equivalent from 40 to 400 pounds at ringside. Can only happen really in this gambling oasis in Nevada. Wolf just threw him back in the corner. Luckily his own corner there. Like a kid and the crowd didn't like that. So Larry Holmes now, he had a, a tough fight in Reno last May for 15 rounds against Carl Williams. But in fairness, he really did get late notice for that fight, but he wants to make up for it in this one. Very few words there at all, isn't there, in Spinks' corner with Nelson Bryson and Percy Richardson work in the corner. Very cool character, this. Unlike his brother Leon, is a bit flamboyant. Second round then, and remember it is scheduled for 15, the International Boxing Federation version of the championship, which is mainly American ruled. Holmes was telling me that uh, he thought he'd have to work on the left-hand jab to soften up Spinks a bit, but Spinks said, well, nobody's had me on the deck, and it's a long time ago since I was beaten, right back in 76, when he lost in Russia, and obviously in an amateur match there, and he's only had taken one count in the amateurs, and he called that a flash knockdown. I was up again right away, he said. So you've got a lot of durability in a fight like this. So he's going to warn Holmes for pulling on. Well, as the years wear on, you know, fighters tend to do that. Get a bit, a little bit testy. I don't like the youngsters coming at them too much. Hasn't unloaded the right hand really with any force yet, the heavyweight champion. You know, wait for that. He, he swings that in quite hard. Usually tries it to the body first, around the rib cage. There it is. Spinks is a bit of a slow starter. He's shown that in his uh, light heavyweight title defenses, but uh, here he wants to try and take a bit of play away from Holmes. It would seem. Get off. Get off. 
So it's the searching, point scoring, and slightly damaging left hands, isn't it? Well, he missed, well missed with that one. Uh, Spinks had decided to back off and rethink a game with that right hand. Well, the crowd seemed to be with the little fellow. Can you imagine calling him a little fellow at 14 stone four? About a stone heavier than Henry Cooper at his best. So there's Holmes using the weight there, and the crowd really going against him for it. They can hardly ex expect him to stand back. That's, that's got to be his game, to use the weight advantage. 21 and a half pounds, remember. So there you are, the crowd really enjoying that uh, bit of spirited action indeed from Lee Michael Spinks. So you can almost taste the atmosphere as that uh, camera lens zooms in for the third round of this heavyweight championship. And it would seem any success by Spinks is okay by the crowd. They love the underdog, particularly in this part of the, the game here, where uh, there's a good share of losers, of course, in this gambling oasis. Great array of past champions here. It's easy to see the superior strength of Holmes, isn't it? He, when he just shoves Spinks aside like that. He's a strong man. Up down, up down. Keep your hands up. Hands up. Hands up, Sven, hands up. When a heavyweight does get to his middle third, is there's usually just that little edge of timing gone. Holmes takes the view that he's been in with some really dynamic punches, and he has. Ernie Shavers, Jerry Cooney, Ken Norton. So he doesn't figure that Michael Spinks could unload any punch as hard as they could, but there you go. He's getting a bit older in the game, and he's finding it tougher as he goes along. As I said his last one went 15 rounds, and it was a struggle with Carl Williams. But the odds players have really been betting heavy on Holmes, just on sheer weight advantage, although they were a bit surprised at the weigh-in. They thought he'd be about 35 pounds heavier. Uh, in fact, only 21 and a half. Well, he's, there's not an ounce of fear in Spinks' fighting, is there? As he said, I used to have a lot of battles with Leon, and he was a big man. We never stopped fighting each other. looking at uh, the referee there. I don't know what that's all about, as though he's talking to him. They're talking to each other now because Spinks is saying, what's this all about as we get the countdown for round three? Probably saying, stop complaining. Somebody thrown some paper in the ring there. I hope that doesn't keep up. The Nevada commissioner didn't like that. He called out to the ringsider, who's paid about 400 pounds for his seat. And the crowd's certainly gone against Larry Holmes. Had two fights this year, third round and eighth round in uh, championship defences. <laughs> round four. There's certainly a, quite a bit of needles. I said they do respect each other, but I'm not sure they do now. Well, what a start by Mike Spinks. 
He might have been a bit slow warming up, and he's telling the referee he caught me with his elbow. Well, I've heard of giving him the elbow, but uh, that was a bit too blatant. Just a bit slow getting his punches off, Holmes. No use him waiting for Spinks to slow down because that's unlikely. And that was the first big right hand miss coming in from Holmes there, wasn't it? Caused a bit of a draft as it went past its feeling at ringside. Well, while Holmes is trying to hang on with the right hand, Spinks was unloading his. He was making him pay for that tactic. What a spirited fight this is from Spinks. And you think that the, some of the great fighters in the past, from Billy Conn right through to Archie Moore, or John Henry Lewis, all of them just couldn't manage to beat the heavyweight champion. Well, Holmes has been in some rough rides in his time, and he looked as though he's going to get another one here. So far, he's had marvellous powers of recovery. But for how long can he keep it up if this fellow can keep this speed going? Well, maybe Leon's, uh, Michael Spinks was right to carry that extra weight it doesn't appear to be doing him any harm does it and he's almost i've never seen holmes hit so early and so much in a fight mind you i should point out too that the heavyweight champion's known for his patience he's overcome one or two bad patches in the past Well, a bit of a saucy walkabout he's having at the end of that uh, round there, Spinks. So that's all you got to do. You're taking... You're the champion. That's right. You're the boss. You can't let this guy take him to him. See, the, all of his funny... Well, Holmes quite right. He's saying there, I've got to start right. jabbing, because he's not doing that. He's posing a bit. Right well, if only so he can fight it, like his right second, that's all. Right, Give seconds. Let's go. Coming out early for work there in the fifth round. He's a little bit rattled, Harry, Larry Holmes. Hit him, Michael! Get off! Eyeball to eyeball there, but words weren't exchanged. But there was a grin there on uh, Holmes's face. Oh, the first right hand that really came in, the crowd oohed and aahed from the back of this car park erected arena. But it didn't seem to bother Spinks. That's two for Spinks' his right hand punch. He calls that the Spinks jinx, that one. But it's a bit different knocking over 12 and a half stone men for Spinks and this fellow.
So there it is, just a cross section of all the galaxy of stars and great fighters that are here tonight. Muhammad Ali's here, being minded a bit by Mr. T of the A team. And looking well, Ali, too, I must say. Sixth round. Just to recap, remember, scheduled for 15 for the International Boxing Federation Heavyweight Championship, held, of course, by Larry Holmes. And you could say Michael Spinks with everything to gain and absolutely nothing to lose as he holds three versions of the light heavyweight championship, the 12 stone seven division. But he's going well in this fight. He's giving Holmes all the trouble he can handle. going on a bit, uh, Spinks. I should leave that sort of thing to the referees. It was appealing a bit too much to him. Got caught with a punch around the back of the head. That's, that's more like it. I would have thought that would have been Spinks' game to kind of hit and hop it a little bit, get in, score punches and get out quickly. way you can explain him how Holmes takes a shot comes back a man who's really got millions in the bank and doesn't need to fight anymore and he's got one of the biggest hearts in heavyweight history make no mistake about that Times there when he fights with his mouth open a bit, uh, Michael Spinks, and he, you know, he gives the impression that he's breathing heavily, but that's that's a mannerism, I'm sure, with him. So the referee Carlos Padilla making sure they're not coming out for play too early in round seven. And it looks as though Holmes is. As they say in the fight trade, going looking for him a bit now. It's a chance of Michael, Michael. Well, if he hasn't won the fight yet, uh, he certainly won the crowd's hearts. Oh, he's come back well in this round, Spinks. Might be a bit dangerous for Holmes if he's hoping he's going to let Spinks punch himself out, though. all he can do now Spinks he's thrown his punches now he's got to hide a bit now to see the round out again save a bit of strength long way to go <laughs> he's chiding Holmes a little bit there isn't he Well, Michael's certainly putting up a much stronger show than his brother Leon did. A heavyweight, of course, the man who defeated uh, Muhammad Ali here in Las Vegas. He only went three rounds with Holmes. <laughs> Tenth round.
trying to cut the corners off there, Holmes. Trying to cut the ring space down. He really is threatening to go to work the whole time, Holmes, but he hasn't really done it yet. do a little bit more than threaten in this business to hang on to the championship and start equaling his records. Well, he's certainly making it awkward for Holmes, isn't he? The way he's ducking and diving and twisting and turning all the time, Spinks. Do you hear this? He's really moaning again there, but the referee won't have it. Said he caught him with his head. I didn't think that was deliberate. That's ridiculous for a light heavyweight champion to make such a meal of that one. Holmes at least not answering him, but just standing looking at him as though to say, that's part of our business, let's get on with it. been known to do that in a fight before. Brother Leon was a bit of a character. He was capable of it, but this fellow's never done it. Well, it spurred Spinks back into action again anyway. up to throw that right hand Holmes. notice that now just following Spinks around just waiting for that second can he do it or not is the timing still there no it isn't flew over the head well that was closer to the chin Ignoring that left hand jab from Holmes, not too many fighters have done that against the champion. point scoring punches from Holmes when he does that as I said before it's all flurries coming in from Spinks what's going on here he's even answering Butch Lewis one of the promoters at the ringside who's a great fan uh, part manager really of Spinks he really is out of character I'm amazed Decent left hook there from Holmes as he, he caught Spinks just pulling away from the ropes a bit there. I think Holmes is allowing uh, Spinks too many little breathers. Well, he can run, but as Joe Lewis always said, you can't hide in this game. The 13th. An opinion around the ringside is a bit divided, really, because it hasn't been the easiest of fights to score. 
most people are fancying that uh, the strength of Holmes is going to win okay, but it's, uh, I don't know, early on Spinks had a lot of success. Oh yes, now Holmes is getting to work. They haven't stopped nagging him in his corner. You've been a fighter all your life, which is true, but then that's uh, the same for Spinks. Trying to trap Spinks a bit in one of those corners. Not going to be easy. <laughs> Holmes has soaked up more punches than I've seen him do in quite a few fights, although. As I say, there's, there's been one or two signs of the, the big slide in recent fights, particularly the last one with Carl Williams. But he's got himself into a lot better shape for this one than the last. <laughs> Spinks really coming into it again in the 13th, but he tends to punch himself out a little bit. He needs the rest after he's thrown them. Not so much a rest as uh, trying not to be caught by punches. Of action in the 13th. Larry, come on, you gotta go. Listen to me. You miss with the right hand, come back with the left hook. You gotta bear down with him. You're letting him get off first. You gotta get off. Well, the seconds mark there for the 14th round Spinks Incorporated, but when the bell goes, they're out. And I wonder how many fight traders thought it could ever go as long as this, this fight. The Sphinx always in there. Oh, it's just sheer strength now, Larry Holmes trying to lay in there. Ooh, the crowd acknowledging that punch from Sphinx. And a lot of talking going on there. The referee pulls them apart. Holmes was saying recently, I'm a bit tired of these young bucks coming at me these days. And I don't think he expected such a spirited show indeed from Spinks. And there's a great deal of concern among the Holmes cornermen. down for the 14th again it, it really been the most extraordinary heavyweight fight this where the lighter man really hasn't paid the penalty in terms of weight difference whereas you thought he might crack under that weight he hasn't done so Orders are going to come from both corners as both hey, sets of seconds are patching up their men. Here's Holmes again. And the Sphinx and the crowd on their feet for this last round because it would seem nobody's sure which way the judges are going to go on this. So one way or another, there's going to be a record equaled by Holmes if he wins and the first light heavyweight champion. What's happened there? Just asking uh, 
to wipe something off Spinks's face there. The, the referee is doing it himself. Too much grease. And he's taken advantage of sitting on the stool while the bell sounded. But they'll take time off. And the formal touch, very formal. What is just a little, I suppose we've got to do it, handshake in the start of the 15th round. And there's plenty of life in the old dogs yet. Well, we wondered why Spinks came in at such a heavy weight, 14-4, as against 12-7 at the light heavyweight limit, but it's paid off for him. He's been able to hold off the superior strength of Holmes. And now the Holmes family congregating in uh, his corner, giving the Larry, Larry chance. There's Don King, what, promoter in the middle of the picture at ringside there, and needing a drink too. What a good last round this is. So midway through then. Well, both managing to stay on their feet, which really it's not a criticism, really, of their punching power. It's just that these fellows are ter very durable and tremendously fit. Oof. And Holmes turning it on at the finish. It's great with one promoter waving Holmes on and the other one waving Spinks on, the dynamic duo as they've called themselves. Oh, and these boys will be pleased to hear that final bell. I tell you, it's been a hard last round. How are they going to sort this one out? Well, by the way, Spinks raised his hands there. I think he's expecting a decision. And the ring's getting invaded as it always is. Always like a carnival in there. And Holmes needing the heavy shower and wash and brush up treatment. Doesn't seem too pleased with himself either. And the way Spinks is gesturing, it uh, looks as though he's definitely won the fight. But I'll be honest with you, I don't know, because it's very hard to judge how three American judges want to score this one. So here's the scoring then. Here is the decision of the judges. Judge Dave Moretti scores 143, 142. Oh, that's the first close Judge one. Judge Harold Letterman scores 143, 142. Same score, one and point. Judge Larry Wallace scores. 145, 142 for the winner by unanimous decision and new. Yes, Spinks has done it. He got a big score with the last judge, 145, 142. And that'll be a party all night long in that ring there. He just did enough to win it. He threw the punches. And he got through with more than his share, obviously, only one point by two judges, which is more or less how I would have scored the fight. But the 145, 142 got it. And that's a face of one of the great champions of the past, remember, the man who defeated Muhammad Ali and was, in fact, hated for it, in effect. Michael Smith was very awkward. He uh, wasn't that strong, but he had a very awkward style, and I couldn't get my right hand going. Just a question of age, what happened to oh, no. Ali when he fought Leon? No, no. It was a question of style. Styles made fights. 
Michael Smith got a very unique style, and he took a good punch. And the punches that I, I had, thought I had, I couldn't land them. Was he stronger than you expected him, and did he have more stamina at his no, weight? He's no, he's no stronger than light heavyweight, but it was a good fight. Um, I congratulate Michael. I think he's going to be a great champion, but I think he should fight uh, light heavyweight. That's his feel. Uh, like I said, I congratulate him, Michael, because he's a good champion. Will you ever fight again? No, no nothing else to prove. I go home now. My wife, Diane, my kids, Kenny, go back to the office Monday and start taking care of my business. I think I could do anything in believing in my Heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I mean, man. one who died for me. When the decision took a long time to be announced, did you have any doubts about it coming your way? No, I, I, asked, I asked a few people, did I win? They said, yeah. I, I left it all in the Lord's hands. And that extra weight and suited you, could, eh? Say it again? That extra weight suited you. You enjoyed being as big as you I were. told you. It took all the people that supported me, all of my family of guys that 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 did all the all the hard work along with me. But it, it took know-how. Exactly. What about the light heavyweight championship? Are you gonna give that we up we now? We're gonna rest with both titles tonight, Archie. Yeah. We're gonna sleep with both. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till I wake up in the morning and see if I if, if it'll sink in that I beat Larry Holmes. The undisputed heavyweight champion, which I take nothing from. One hell of a guy. Yes, for the old champion, 49 fights, just one too many. No arguments with the verdict at all, I suppose, Jim. No, I think Spinks did enough, especially early on. Uh, Holmes didn't really get rolling until the later rounds, and he left it too late by then. And Holmes looking a sluggish, perhaps because of his 35 years of age, as he has in the last few fights, really. Yeah, well, he's been hanging on to his title by the skin of his teeth the last couple of years, and I think a shifty young opponent was just what he didn't need. Now, he talked about the awkward style. It, it looked to me, and in fact, you were saying during the fight that it was a shifty style. It was fairly orthodox, though. Yeah, it wasn't awkward. I think it's just the fact that Larry's timing's gone. It's not gone totally, but he's struggling now. He's past his best. He's having to force himself to do the things that used to come natural a couple of years ago. So the first thing to go is the timing, and unfortunately, it had gone a bit tonight. 14 stone four seemed to suit Spinks, didn't it? Yeah, I don't know how he's managed to get himself to 14 stone 4. That's Food amazing. Food I don't know how it's happened. Well, I don't know at all. I wouldn't like to accuse him of anything, no, but it's, it's really strange, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean it's, it's really strange, but I mean, there's certain things are in my mind too, but I don't know. Uh, I really don't see him going back to light heavyweight again anyway. He'll, he'll never get back to 12-7. I don't suppose he'll want to anyway. It's Obviously. remarkable. In fact, nine years ago, he was a, a middleweight in the Olympic Championships. Three months ago, <laughs> he was a light heavy, now a heavy. Is he going to have enough power to stay in the heavyweight ranks? Well, we didn't see any power in that particular fight there. It was a, a rear guard action all the way. Holmes mm. was pushing him back, and he didn't try to, to push Holmes back. It's possible he may not have enough power for the, the top heavyweights, but at the moment, the, the heavyweight division is a bit uh, thin in talent simply because we have three champions. So he's going to make a lot of money with his version of the title before he actually has to stand up and be counted, I suppose. Well, finally, let's have a, a word on Larry Holmes. Um, 49 contest, just one defeat right at the very end of it. Well, Larry's never had the recognition he deserves. It's a pity he didn't manage to equal or uh, surpass Rocky Marciano's record. It'd have been nice to finish like that. But he went out with a champion's dignity and making no excuses. So the best of luck to you, Larry. You deserved everything you got, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your life. <laughs> Jim, thank you very much indeed. Certainly agree with all of that. So there we are. We come to the end of an era. Holmes, the king, deposed. And now Michael Spinks, along with all kinds of other aspiring heavies, who will want to rule the world? From all of us here, it's goodbye. Thank you.